All right, today we're going to talk about the free 3D animation software or open source. So when we talk about 3D animation, we people actually usually mean a 3D software in general. So uh, we've got today a list of five software that you're going to probably find very useful if you're looking for something for free. So first of all, we're going to talk about Blender. Blender, I believe, is a very powerful software that is being developed constantly and it can do everything from modeling, texturing, rendering, uh, rigging, animation, sculpting, and, and, and it has even a game engine. And the good thing about Blender is that it is open source, which means that everyone can uh, actually add to it and create tools for it and scripts and everything else. And also it is being developed constantly by the company that is responsible for it. So uh, when it comes to shortages, you don't, you actually don't have to worry because uh, it can uh, provide you with everything. And uh, usually uh, professionals use it, use it too because uh, it can do amazing stuff and it's very competitive even with the software that is uh, commercial and it is paid and people pay thousands of dollars with so if you're a beginner if you're not someone who is actually in the industry or someone who does not know a lot about 3d then blender can be a very good start to create your 3d projects or to create your 3d animations as well and you can do uh, amazing stuff with Blender. Actually, a lot of people and a lot of uh, small groups of people or small studios created uh, great games and great animations using Blender and the results are stunning and amazing. And I believe uh, Blender is gonna have a good future and it's gonna hold a lot of powerful stuff that we're gonna see in the future. And um, to be honest, a lot of people are kind of converting from uh, or changing software from what you, what they usually use, which is uh, commercial, and they are now using Blender because uh, it offers good solutions for so many stuff. So if you are serious about 3D and creating 3D animations or even games or any 3D projects, then Blender is the go-to software for now. And I promise you it's going to be worth it because lots of people are using it and there are good communities for Blender. And um, the thing is, you're going to be helped. You're going to find help if you ask. And there are lots of tutorials and it's very, it's a very active software these days. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a good option if you're looking for something for free. Number two, uh, Sculptress. A Sculptress is a 3D uh, sculpting software that is free and it can do lots of stuff when it comes to sculpting. Of course, it's not as high quality as the uh, 3D sculpting software such as uh, ZBrush and um, ZBrush is a beast and uh, it's actually the best in the market. If you're looking for something else for an alternative, then Sculptress can help you and it can actually provide you with the tools necessary in order to create uh, sculptings uh, for characters and uh, for animals for organic stuff such as trees or anything that is not human or animal or you can actually use it even to sculpt uh, environmental elements such as architectural elements you can sculpt you can sculpt rocks you can sculpt walls you can sculpt uh, environmental details whatever it might be so sculptress is a good software when it comes to sculpting for free number three das studio a Dev Studio is actually uh, a commercial software that offers its services now for free. So a Dev Studio is uh, is a software that actually or a company that provides you with um, uh, with characters in order for you to use them for your animation uh, projects or your animation videos or whatever movies you're creating. And uh, the good thing about Dev Studio is that it's gonna uh, provide you with easy solution in order to be able to create things on the fly that usually take lots of hours and so many people to create. This Daz thing here is going to help you to do amazing stuff with minimal tweaks and just uh, kind of choosing the settings and stuff. You can import your characters, you can take them to an animation software or just pick a pose or render them if you want something that is not uh, 
gonna be very complicated so um, there, there there is a large team behind this software which which is actually building characters constantly they are adding a lot to it every every day or every week depending on how active they are and there are a lot of configurations that you can choose from there are a lot of settings that you can change in order to create characters that you like and as i said you can take these characters to the other 3D software such as Blender or any software probably you want to use a commercial software if you are advanced if you are an advanced person and uh, you are actually needing or actually you need something to create characters in a fast manner. Number four, Wings 3D. So uh, this software here is not the best, but it actually offers a good solution if you're looking for something easier. So uh, if you're looking for something free and easier than a Blender, then Wings 3D is going to give you uh, the option to do create uh, simple stuff with actually uh, having the luxury to use it for free. So uh, the thing is, Wings, th Wings 3D is, is a software that is not highly complicated. And to be honest, it's not that it's not kind of that kind of software that is being developed constantly and improved um, tremendously such as Blender that's why it is good for beginners and uh, people who don't really have lots of experience or people who are completely new because uh, it's very simple in the surface and on the surface and its tools are very easy to use and it is very straightforward so if you're looking for something that is very simple and free then Wings 3D probably is a good option that you might want to try. And number five, a SketchUp. Uh, SketchUp is software that is that has been created by Google uh, years ago, but now they can offer a free version. So uh, it was actually called before Google SketchUp, but right now they call it only SketchUp. So the free version of SketchUp is going to allow you to create, basically for the most part, it's going to be allowing you to create buildings and environmental stuff. But for now, they are kind of providing um, other stuff uh, as, as, as the software is being developed they are kind of going in the direction of the standard 3D software such as Blender, 3ds Max and Maya but for the most part it's gonna help you to create architectural stuff and it's gonna get you covered because it has so many good tools that you can use uh, this software is popular and I usually recommend when trying to use or learn the software to use something that is popular and that you can find good tutorials when it comes to it. So a SketchUp is popular, lots of people use it and there are tons of tutorials when it comes to using it. Also there are courses if you want to check them out. I think it's going to get you covered when it comes to um, environmental stuff uh, for your 3D projects or for your... 3D animations if you're going in that route. And of course, if you are a student, if you are right now studying in, uh, in a 3D institute or a 3D school or something of that sort, then usually you're going to get a version of the commercial stuff for free and you're going to get a license, for example, for 3DS Max or Maya for three years in order to use them uh, as you study. So if you are a student, then you're going to get, you're going to be able to get professional software such as 3ds max and maya for three years for free and um, also you can uh, learn and use houdini apprentice which is an amazing software also you can use it for so many stuff the good thing about it is that it is procedural and it is amazing when it comes to animation and visual effects and so many other things that we probably uh, talked about and or we're gonna talk about in other videos so uh, yeah if you're a student I, I recommend that you go uh, in this direction uh, because if you have proof that you're a student you probably need to use 3ds max or maya or houdini because they are the best and uh, if you use them now um, you're gonna be able to learn the software that you are gonna use it when you're gonna become a professional and when you start working inside a game studio so uh, if it was me I would actually learn something that I will be able to use 10 years from now so if for example I want to start uh, using 3d software and I know that wings 3d is not something that I gonna, I'm gonna use to create professional stuff or for, for my fr freelance work or for my studio work in the future and I have an option to use 3ds Max or Blender or Maya then I'm gonna use the professional software instead 
uh, of course knowing that I can use them for free if I am a student or if I can use Blender because it's essentially free. So uh, you should be wise when choosing the softwares you're gonna study. That's why uh, I'm creating these videos to offer people an insight to what these software can do, what these softwares can do and what they are in the first place. So um, I hope this video was useful and helped you to know more about some of the free 3D animation or 3D packages in general that you can use in order to create your 3D projects. Um, thank you very much for watching. You probably want to check some of our previous videos. Uh, thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.